No. No, it's Mark the Flash. Just, just. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Robinson. In this video, I'm going to talk about the two Detective Conan games for the GBA. Detective Conan the Targeted Detective is awesome. It's sort of a puzzle platformer, not really a detective game, but I'm happy with the choice. The game feels action-packed and it keeps itself close to the source material too. I like it. The only complaint I have with the game is when you have to kick stuff in a boss fight. Moving in only 4 directions makes it finicky to aim, especially since you're stressed out because the enemy is approaching. But in rest, it's an awesome game, and I think you can finish it even if you don't know Japanese, but then you won't be able to follow the story. Anyway, the game is good, I was surprised with this time game. It's good for normal game standards too, not only for time game standards. It's a really good puzzle platformer. And Detective Conan Akatsuki no Monument is through and through a detective game. It's in the style of a visual novel, you hear out what the characters have to say, you gather clues, and by the end you confront the clues to find out what was going on. You get a hit or miss system, but you can pass the game even if you fail everything, and learn the result by choosing the only item you didn't get wrong. So the game is still kid friendly. I like that even if the game is a visual novel, you can roam crime scenes by selecting where you want to go and the game even has 5 mini games. Overall the game is great, it uses the source material incredibly well, making you feel like watching Detective Conan. The music is amazing and it's a very fitting style to Detective Conan. The detective visual novel, sure it might not be for everyone, as some consider visual novels boring, me included. But if you know Japanese, I recommend you to try this game. It's not like other visual novels. This one is more interesting than the average visual novel with love stories and cheesy moments. This game won't be like that. 